Welcome back. Let's take a look at what's happening in the world of business. Beginning today, you will be able to trade in the M Akiba bond on the secondary market after it was officially listed at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. MOVE is expected to grow the country's savings as well as hand investors the opportunity to invest in government bonds. Abia Gina has more. The sounding of the bell at the Nairobi Securities Exchange signify the official listing of the Emma Kiba mobile traded bond, which has defied market forces to register one of the highest subscriptions. The best way to benefit from Emma Kiba is to hold it to maturity. That way you get the benefit of a tax exempt revenue stream. And at the end of that, you actually get your money back. With our current saving levels of slightly less than 12% to GDP, there was something we had to do differently. So a disruption had to come in, and I believe this is the disruption we've been waiting for. The listing follows a successful closure of the special limited offer of the Emma Kiba retail bond after it achieved the 150 shilling mark. The bond market has been on the uptick, with the investors rushing to cash in on the handsome um, interest thank rates. You very much. Emma Kiba is undoubtedly going to be one of the most powerful savings vehicles you'll find anywhere in Kenya for Kenyans. So it's actually a first where we're not subject to the, the vagaries or the volumes in the secondary market. So the investor today has peace of mind that you can exit and enter with a very structured mechanism. The Emma bond which closed off last week, five days to the set date, owing to the high subscription, had attracted slightly over 100,000 investors who registered to invest. According to market players, the successful uptake of the Emma Kiba retail treasury bond exhibits the need for new and innovative products in the market. Now, the successful uptake of Emma Kiba in the pilot is really an attestment of the desire by Kenyans to also become and invest in their country. The listing of the bond comes at a time when Kenya's stock markets have been treated to new products such as the exchange traded fund as well as the upcoming derivatives market. With more Kenyans gaining financial knowledge of alternative investment products, the government is banking big on this to roll out the second tranche of the bond by June worth 4.85 billion shillings to go towards infrastructure financing. Abiyagina. Katian Business. Kenya is investigating reports of crop eating caterpillars known as fall armyworms in maize fields in the western part of Kenya in Transoya County. Neighboring Uganda confirmed last month that the pests had attacked crops on farms about 20 districts in the country, heightening concerns that they could spread into Kenya. The worms were also earlier reported in other parts of Africa like Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi and South Africa. Our foreign affairs editor Lilian Odera has that story. Kenya is now among a host of African countries battling a crop destroying caterpillar. The armyworm has attacked farmlands in parts of the country, including the western region of Transoya, which forms a significant part of the country's breadbasket. Some farmers are spraying their crops with pesticides as part of trials in a campaign aimed at stopping the pest that threatens to wipe out the season's crop. The armyworm destroys young maize plants, attacking their growing points and burrow into cobs. This one is, 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 is very difficult to control. And um, the damage, for example, like in the, in the, in the 100 acres of uh, seed mess, I've planted about uh, 50% is at stake because the, the infestation is quite high. One moth is giving rise to uh, 20,000 uh, eggs and which prepared in the soil during the day, but it is at night that they come out and forage on these leaves. Kenya's invasion comes at a time when the country is suffering from a drought that has left about 2.7 million people in need of food aid and driven up inflation to a near five-year high. The government says it's conducting further investigations on the crop-eating caterpillars and will distribute effective pesticides once trials are completed. Armyworms have been reported in over 700 hectares of farmland in Transoya. Because the only way to save future generation of cropping, especially with our main staple, which is maize, is the number one host of this pest. 
armyworms easily migrate, moving from one agricultural region to another. Neighboring Uganda confirmed last month that the pests had attacked crops in farms in about 20 districts in the country, heightening concerns that they could spread into Kenya. Emergency campaigns are being held to educate farmers on how to identify the pest. Lilian Odera, KTN News.